Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. The Weather Extreme video, this is the afternoon edition for Monday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. Rain continues over southeast Alabama. For the rest of the week, things look quiet. Maybe some rain as the weekend begins. Let's check it out. Here's the water vapor satellite view. Upper air look big, upper low over Kansas. And that's produced a variety of inclement weather across the country over the past 24 hours. Blizzard conditions in the cold air for parts of Minnesota, Iowa, South Dakota, Nebraska. Strong storms down here in the warm sector. That's the radar at 240. Heavier rain moving into Montgomery. Uh, but the rain has ended for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden and points north and west. And that rain will be tapering off over southeast Alabama later tonight. And you can see the sky is starting to clear across north Alabama. Big patches of blue opening up. In fact, the sky is sunny over all of West Tennessee and Mississippi, and we will enjoy a sunny day tomorrow. Temperatures mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s, a little above average for late January. will be slightly cooler tomorrow around the nation. The air is colder behind the system, but no Arctic air this time. For the rest of this week, highs mostly in the 50s, lows mostly in the 30s. Blizzard warnings still in effect. For parts of Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, up in the cold air, winter storm warnings, parts of Wisconsin, in Upper Michigan, things are quiet down here. Still got a marginal risk of severe weather for southeast Alabama this evening. Those storms should be ending fairly soon. And tomorrow, a marginal risk up around Chesapeake Bay on the Middle Atlantic coast. This is the rain for the next seven days. Again, big numbers from San Francisco to Seattle. And around here, rain amounts. Now, this counts the rain we had today uh, and the rain we get over the weekend on Saturday. Rain amounts about uh, one inch or slightly more. So let's dive into it. Model fans, this is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, trough lifting north of us. And down below that, the air dry, uh, partly to mostly sunny with a high in the middle 50s, right at seasonal averages. Wednesday, we start the day around the freezing mark, the high again in the 50s. This is Thursday. The sky will be sunny. Same deal. We start the day around freezing, the high in the upper 50s. And Friday, a sunny day. Friday morning's low near 32. The high Friday afternoon should be around 60. Now, this is Saturday and moisture comes back. We'll mention a chance of rain at times. This run not as aggressive as other runs, but no doubt some risk of rain Saturday. Not going to rain all day. No severe weather. And then Sunday, all of a sudden, the uh, GFS goes kind of dry. We're still going to mention the chance of a lingering shower Sunday, but if this verifies, we can take that out. We'll wait for future runs to see if we have some consistency here. And highs for the weekend, probably low 60s. And again, there's no Arctic air involved here. Here's Monday of next week, broad uh, troughing on the East Coast. That air is dry, and that would suggest a low uh, around 40 and a high around 60. Nothing really too cold. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 1st of February. Troughing north and west of here, and if that's right, an approaching cold front would likely bring a chance of rain at that point. Let's check that European ensemble deep into, deeper into the month, 360 hours, the 6th of February. And again, evidence of troughing and cold air coming down into the eastern half of North America again. Winter's far from over, and we're not saying it's going to happen, but there's some consistency in this idea, just something to watch. But in the next uh, you know, 10 days or so, things don't look that bad. And again, highs mostly in the 50s, lows mostly in the 30s, right at average levels for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.